The day of the wedding, we had a little what you'd call technical difficulties. When they were heading to the wedding, they were hot rodding and ended up losing one of the gears in the transmission. So they were like a little delayed because they were out goofing around right before Frank was supposed to get married. Frank and Fred were just that type, let's have fun on the way to, you know, do something serious. <laughs> I thought when Frank got married, I might get pushed to the side in a way. You know how newlyweds can be, but that's not how it was. Frank trusted Fred a lot. Fred was just always there, so Frank just included him in pretty much everything. Fred was just part of the family. He was there all the time. Everybody was just good. He, he hung out with the kids. You know, he played with the kids. That's just how Fred was. He liked kids. Fred would watch Frank's house when he didn't go on the trips with Frank. Frank gave him a key to the house, take care of my place, and that's what Freddie did. He had the keys to the garage. He could go work in the garage whenever he wanted to, pretty much. Married, working hard, two of Susan's kids that I thought of as my own, I had my hands full. Still, there was something missing. Two years after we got married in 2004, we took care of that. Frank wanted a child for a long time. Frank was excited that he was finally having his own kid. We were having a little baby girl, me and Susan. And just like always, I wanted Fred at my side. Fred was there at the hospital when Susan had Frank's kid, his daughter. I was proud of my friend. He was a real family man. I didn't think I wanted all that for myself, though. I thought I'd be single my whole life. 